Hey guys, my name is Lily and I've been shooting bows and arrows for about 15 years. But the thing is, I always shot bows at the left side of the bow, which is very precise and good for target shooting and hunting, but it's not so good for fast shooting and for martial archery. So today I have a special guest for you, Peter. So this Hi. is Peter from Slovakia and he came here today to show me one of his awesome bows. So this here is the Assyrian. Assyrian bow and it has been a very old and proven design. It was used even before Christ, I believe. And yeah, today I'm going to shoot this bow and try to shoot it from the right side. But first, Peter is going to show me the right technique, how to do so. Wow, that's really fast. You can buy this bow at Boga Archery in Slovakia. I will give you the link to the homepage in the description below. Okay, now Peter is going to show us another technique. Okay. Right in the middle, of course. <laughs> That's also a very interesting technique. I've never seen before that someone is so accurate with a horse bow. It's the first time. I always thought that the horse bow is less accurate, but with Pita it's very precise. Oh, that is, this is really hard. Oh, it hurts a little bit. It's really hurting, so I don't think I can do it for a long time. Ah, now I'm left here. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, I think the thumb, uh, the thumb draw is nothing for me. But it's very precise. It's a very precise bow. It's nice how it draws. Like, it's super small and very powerful. It has 36 pounds. It's really nice. It has a lot of power. So, definitely a good bow for martial archery. Okay, so now I will try a different technique. I will hold the arrows in my left bow hand. Then I will. Oops. Then I will draw one arrow and I will go from here, knock the arrow in place and then shoot with my Mediterranean draw, right? Yeah. So that's a technique that I quite much like because uh, I have shot 15 years on the left side of the bow and that's why I'm very, very accurate but I'm still very slow, so I have to practice more. Okay, now Peter's wife wants to show us her technique, how she's doing uh, the fast shooting from the left side as well. And she's using a Hungarian bow, which is really beautiful. So it has this nice red color and it has about 36, 35 pounds. 35, 35 pounds, so it's a pretty strong bow. And she's going to show us her technique now.
Okay, that was pretty fast, much faster than me. <laughs> Good job. All right, so now we tried many different techniques. We tried um, to shoot the arrow at the right side with the thumb draw, but actually I have to say it really hurts my thumb and I don't have hands like a bear, like uh, Peter has. <laughs> so now I will try to draw from my quiver and put the arrow on the right side because it's very quick here. Yeah? If you just put it here instead of just going through here because that requires a little bit of time. So I want to stay at the right side of the bow, do it like this and then use the Slavic draw to shoot the bow. So I think that's the best technique for me or I can always shoot at the left side if I have a little bit more time. So, and I also think that I'm more precise at the left side of the bow. So for precision shooting, I can always shoot the bow from the left and for fast shooting, I will try to shoot the bow from the right. The only problem that I have is I'm not used to this. So I'm really slow and you can only get better with more practice. I know. Okay. Okay, so um, what Valeria is telling me is that I should knock a little bit higher. Not too much. But not too much. And also I have to stay here in this place. Because if I'm up here, it's going to shoot to the right because the frame of the bow is going to press the arrow to the right. So I have to stay at this very spot here. Yeah. Not me too. And it's a little bit hard to do that very fast. So you have to practice a lot. So right now I'm quite to the right, but I have to adjust my aiming to the left. I'm getting there. I'm better than before. Once again. Okay, so now Peter showed me a very important detail. So when he is taking the arrow, he is sliding the string in between the thumb and the arrow. And that's something that I didn't do before. I always fiddled around with the arrow, trying to knock it on the string. But he's just sliding over and that's what I want to try next. And it seems to be a very fast technique. Okay. Wow. Nice. Okay, now I will try this sliding over technique. And also I have to feel the knocks. And I don't want to have them sideways. really hard. Like this. Ah! Aha, uh -huh, yeah, it's working. It's, it's faster. <laughs> okay, um, this is a very hard technique to learn. The thing is the back curve is not that great because I have to take the knock at the end and not here. So usually I take the arrow out here because then I don't have to draw this much out. But when I take the arrow at the knock then I have to do a very high draw. It's, it's almost blocking me. So the back quiver is not the perfect solution for this kind of archery. So I think I'm going to take it down and I will put it onto my belt today. This is always in the way. Yes.
shot my arm gun. <laughs> but it's getting better. I'm getting better. Okay, um, I want to say something about this bow here, which is a great bow. Um, the thing that I noticed is that I can shoot the arrows both from the left and from the right side and it's very accurate. So now I want to shoot this bow at the left side like I do with my other bows and I want to show you how accurate this bow is at the left. So Peter is now putting on a knocking point for me. It's important for a precision shooting that you always knock at the same place on the yes. string. So as you can see, uh, we have a pretty tight grouping. So now I want to shoot three arrows with this horse bow. And then I want to shoot three arrows with my other bow, with my recurve bow. And I want to know if there's a difference in shooting. But I will shoot from the left side because otherwise I cannot compare. Okay, the precision was the same, but I have to say that the horse bow fanned a little bit faster. It had a little bit more power, although the poundage is the same. So here we have 35 pounds, the other one has 36 pounds, so it's almost the same weight. But I think that the horse bow has more speed. And that's because here you can see that the horse bow is much thinner. And although it has the same draw weight, it's faster. And the recurve is much broader here, so the more weight you have at the end of your limbs, the slower your bow is going to be. So, yeah, this is definitely uh, very fast, also very lightweight. It's a deadly bow. Perfect for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> okay, Peter, can I keep this bow? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's really nice. I love it. I love the bow because I can shoot it at the left and at the right side. I'm still very slow at the right side, but I will practice, I promise. And then I will visit you in Slovakia, then we make a match. Who okay. is better? <laughs> but okay. I think he will win because you are doing it since... 20 years. 20 years. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's always good to expand, um, you know, the experience. And I love shooting the bow, my old recurve bow, but for martial archery, a horse bow like this, which is lightweight and small, you can go through the forest without, you know, bumping into every brush and uh, tree. Yeah, it's a very versatile bow. And if you want to check out his website, make sure that you check out the link in the description below. And there you can buy this wonderful bow and other wonderful bows as well. Okay, thank you, Peter. It was very nice to meet you. Until next time. All right, guys, so I'm back here at the archery range. It's a couple of days later. And in the meantime, I have gotten my very special knocks by Charlie Greenberg, the running archer on YouTube. Thank you very much for sending me so many knocks. They're really awesome. And I've already put them into my arrows. And if you take a closer look at these knocks here, you can see that it has a very special form. And this way you can easily grab the arrow and you instantly know uh, which direction the knock goes. So you don't want to waste a lot of seconds to just search for the right direction of the knocks and this way I already know where the knock is. So if you're interested in the knocks here I will leave you a link in the description below. You can get a 3D version I believe at Charlie Greenberg's website. Okay so now I want to take a couple of shots with my new knocks. So I'm holding my arrows in the left hand and I'm also grabbing the bow in the left hand, like this. So basically I'm holding the bow with two fingers only, the index and the thumb, and the rest of the arrows I'm holding in my hand. And I try not to get the arrows into the window so that the window is free. And as I said before, I want to shoot on the right side because, yeah, I just want to learn this technique because it's so much faster. Okay. Now let's start.
want to use this bandana and blind my eyes and I want to shoot the bow without eyesight so that I can feel the arrows a little bit better. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> War das links oder rechts? Links. Ja, das war sehr weit außen rechts. Okay. Und der? Tief links. Und der? Rechts. Aha. Wo ist es zu? Okay, da drin. Passt. Super cool. Schau dir das an. <lacht> It's not the best grouping. So, I was off to the right quite a lot, but it's not too bad for shooting blind. Okay guys, so now I'm done uh, for today and I have to say I'm really happy with my new bow and also with these special knocks, they are really awesome and with those I can knock so much faster, it's unbelievable. So I don't even have to take a look on the knock anymore, which is great and which is saving me precious time. Okay, so yeah, if you want to find out where you can get this bow or the special knocks, please make sure that you visit the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time.